First of all, the Development Academy is the top boys league in the entire country. We worked very closely with Real Salt Lake. We were able to convince them that being able to, to house kids here from all over the, the country and, and the world, you know, it would benefit their professional team. Combine that with our facilities, our coaching staff, and now you're talking about the elite youth development program in the, in the entire country. Here's the best place in the States to be if you want to play like a European system. You're surrounded by who you play with, so you get to know your teammates really well and build chemistry. And you train every day, and we have the best facility in the country. It's way different than club soccer. There's actually more uh, intensity, more speed. We're training every day, maybe sometimes twice a day. It's helped a lot, and it's going to help me get to that next level. The relationship with the coaches are really close. We can talk to them like a friend. Inside of the field, they're always correcting us, helping us, making us better. I'm there, you know, I would say 100% of the time. That's my big part is can I make them feel comfortable so they can play at their best. I want people to know that, you know, if they send their kids here, they're going to be producing a, a better person out into the world that's going to do something great. Real Salt Lake Academy students are genuinely adored throughout the campus. Their respect for adults is a character that we hope they teach to the other students. To have these kids in this environment for six months now and to hear their parents or hear their old coaches come and tell us like, wow, you know, these are mature, you know, young adults and to be able to see that, that jump, that difference is, is great. I feel like I matured as a player. I realized that uh, maybe uh, some of the stuff that I was doing before, some of the stuff that needed correction, it got what it needed and uh, I was able to really complete myself as a player. So by the time I go into college, I'm ready to step in and play. When I play professional, my dream team would definitely be uh, Manchester United. No, absolutely. I want to go pro. That's, that's my dream. After college soccer, I want to play pro for RSL. I'm Greg Vanny. I am the director of so soccer operations here at Grande Sports World. In addition to that, I'm also the director of the Real Salt Lake Arizona Academy. I played uh, 13 years professionally in both Major League Soccer and the French First Division. We are in Casa Grande, Arizona. Casa Grande is the sort of middle point between Phoenix and Tucson, the next second largest city in Arizona. The facility is actually uh, it was opened in 1961 and was built by the uh, San Francisco Giants. After that. The resort's been operating primarily as a, as a golf resort uh, up until about one year ago when the city and the owners of the Francisco Grande Resort partnered up and put together a $20 million project to develop uh, the soccer fields, the sports performance center, uh, and renovate some of the, the hotel and um, the golf facilities and whatnot. This is a great opportunity this week for the ID2 players being here at Grande Sports World as, as this facility plays host to the Real Salt Lake Arizona Academy, which is a residential academy. In addition to that, Grande Sports World plays host to several MLS teams for preseason uh, and for various camps during the course of the year, including the Canadian national team and, and likely the U.S. national team under 18. 
uh, in February. So this is a wonderful opportunity for these guys to be in an environment that is, is hosting professional players and, and, uh, and players who are looking for professional experiences in the future. So now it's turned into really uh, the newest and probably potentially most premier soccer venue in the country. We let Terry take off his shirt when he goes into the weight room. That makes him feel really, really good. But uh, no, it's you know it's a mix of everything when you're trying to get stronger as a team. And you know, in season again, you can't really build strength. You can some you know build some strength in the off season, which a lot of guys did. Uh, but you also can build a little bit of strength in uh, in preseason. You know, Terry's always strong in this. So Michael Facito always prides himself and his uh, strength as, to, as well as Zach Scott is yeah, very good. Um, to guys like that, James Riley, I mean those guys are, they've got good technique, they maintain their fitness year-round and now even in this period they can still do more strength work than some of the other guys because they keep themselves fit year-round. Rhythm of training is sort of a 2-2-1, two, two, uh, always within the 2-2 two, two is going to be a weight training session in either one of those two days and uh, you know it's just a little alternative alternative training, it also gets them off their feet, you know they don't have the pounding today, you know this afternoon and then we can accomplish some things tomorrow.